team in the West. Magic number four, Golden State is three. Rondo, three, up high, and off the wall. Oh! Caruso parachutes in. You cannot stop him. You can only hope to contain him. One of Alex Caruso's best skills offensively and something that every hooper can learn from is his ability to know how and when to fill space on the court. This is something that any hooper can start doing and add an easy three, four extra buckets every game just by doing simple stuff like this. He's really good at realizing his defender is ball watching because he sees the back of his head and so he knows it's a good time to cut. He's really good at seeing space on the floor and then going to it and knowing when to go to it. A lot of this is probably unconscious without him even realizing it. You can tell he has this natural feel for the game, these instincts that come from just playing a lot of basketball. Now, defensively, he's on a completely different level. My favorite part of his game is his on-ball defense, which we'll talk about, but his off-ball defense is just as impressive. He's never taking plays off. He's always looking for opportunities to make an impact. He's always having active feet, active hands, jumping in passing lanes, doing those little things that coaches always talk about. His anticipation is off the charts. He's really good at knowing when the pass is going to be made. There's a couple clips in here where he, he stunts at the ball, but then before the pass is even thrown, he's already jumping in that passing lane where the pass is going to go to get steals. His motor is insanely high and it makes him just such an effective defender. Now his on-ball defense is complete poetry in motion. My favorite part of his game and what's got to be the most underrated part of defending the ball is the confidence he has to take contact in the chest. Because of that he's able to leave his arms out for the refs to see so they're not tempted to call a foul. And by doing that the result you get is what you see here. The offense is driving it and they're expecting an arm bar. They're just expecting more contact than they get. So then they end up falling over, tripping over their own feet, and they end up creating turnovers by themselves. 